have 90 products to share with you guys today. Sports, plants, musicians. We have experiments with candy. We have research projects about animals, hydration drinks, and water. We even have crystals. Do you want to learn more about your favorite animals? We can teach you. Do you want to learn more about what helps plants grow? We can tell you. We hope you love our presentations. Hi, my name is Kajan, and today I will be presenting to you my research on different horses. The Bucking Bronco Race Horses Wild Horses. The earliest example of American bronc riding were believed to have been bronco uh, born have been born out of being horses for the breaking horses for the United States Army. Wild horses move around in groups called a herd. They are more intimidating or scary to predators most wild horses live in the western part of the United States where there are lots of grassy areas wild horses can live to be up to 40 years old bucking horses is is any breed or either gender of horses of horses with prop propensity to buck they have been and still are referred to by various names including bronco broncho and rough stock the harder they buck the more desirable they are to, to are for rodeo event. As one of the most ancient sports, the org, organ, organs of horses race race track became the nomadic tributes be, people trip tribes people in cen, Central Asia in 4500 BC as, as soon became the the world by the 12th century. Modern horses racing as we know it today got its start. For thousands of years, horses race, horse racing has been a popular sport today. It, it, it remains a beloved pastime world wide as people gather at race at racetracks to watch the fastest horse compete. Number one, it's known as the sport of king. Number two, it's a billion dollar industry. Number three, most thoroughbreds begin racing at two years old. Wild horses, wild horses evolved and grew on the Northern America a North, Northern American continent. Millions of years ago, wild horses evolved and grew on the North American continent. Millions of years ago, during glacial peri period, when sea levels would drop, they would move back and forth across the Bering Land Bridge into Cyber into cyber. I am Maya. Hi, I'm Alexa. And we experimented to see with which one will melt the fastest, Skittles or M and M's. We put it the M&Ms on a plate and Skittles on a plate. Then we put the w water on the plates, then we waited. The Skittles melted the fastest because it's more juicier than the chocolate. We had fun doing this experiment and just 
do what we did if you want to do this too. Our hypothesis is the heaviest Beyblade would have to greatest momentum, so we think Buster Scabber will win the match over introduction. Beyblades is a brand name for a line of spinner top babe toys. They were released by Terakotami, a Japanese toy company in, 2000, in the 2000s. Both we toys both the toys and their name were impressed by the Gusto Maruka. The Beyblade toy line went on to the B to be one of the most popular toy lines in the world from 2000 to 2005. The friction, the contest rubber rubbering of the bottom of the Beyblade against the floor or the Bay Stadium and air will eventually cause the Beyblade to stop. If your opponent does not hear Bay out first, Beyblade are designed such that the only part of the Beyblade that touch the ground is the bo the tiny bottom part. The reduces the friction or rubbing that could slow the bay down. Torgu, whatever that says. It's a measure of the how much a force action on a object cause the object to rotate. Torgu force X lever arm distance. The Beyblade is released by pulling the winner or the rip cord the, to make it spin. We pulling the rip cord from the launcher. The force is being extended on the Beyblade twist. This twisting force is torgon. Centrifugal force. An object travel in a circle experience an outward force known as the transverse force. It depends on the mass of the object, the, spe the speed of rotation and the distance from the center. The Beyblade remains upright because the centrifugal force pulls outward on the Beyblade and keeps her to the horizontal axis of the ground. A lot of consider of force energy. Before release, the Beyblade is at the rest and it poses energy to make to release a kinetic energy made to the Beyblade to spin. When the Beyblade when the bay spins it considers friction and its kinetic energy it trans formed to the energy, the precision. When we spin a top on a flat surface, we will see it top and slowly. Removal about the friction direction. This process is called precision. As the spin of the top, top slows, the precision gets faster and faster. It then begins to bob up and down and finally falls over. A repeatedly spin, spinning top will proceed 
in a direction dispersed by the Tsurugu. The Beyblade is able to balance on its axis because the spinning motion caused equal amount of precision to be applied to either side of the Beyblade. If the buddy blade Beyblade smashed into your opponent, this balance it will be destroyed and you will be begin to slow down or crash. Parts of Beyblade a face clear wheel metal wheel and then the track and bottom. The face bolt, can't see that. The face bolts hold the Beyblade together. It had a small icon of a mystical clear wheel. The clear wheel, when the spin, the spin around the spin direction. The, the fusion will the attack power the emission the, the bay the blades effect the fusion will attack power it it diminishes the baby effect when it impacts again a opponent as the momentally the first part to come into contact. Spin track, dement the high or Beyblade and the high Beyblade reacts when gets hit. Under the fusion wheel, the permission tip demands how the Beyblade spins and also affects its movement pattern. It this has proof that the hypothesis was right because the winner was heavier than the other Beyblade. The Beyblade was lighter than the other Beyblade, and it causes it to spin slower. And then the other Beyblade is way stronger than the other. And her like Excalibur was eight about a ten. Hi, my name is Emma Dalton. Um, th I, I put ready, set, drop for my science fair experiment. I chose to complete an egg drop experiment. I will be performing an egg drop using cardboard, tape, bubble wrap, and straws. Then I will will drop it from ten feet to the egg drop due to not break package due to not breaking. Hi, my name is Audrey Kent and I'm Sophia Marie. And axolotls is our title of our project. The axolotl species are critically endangered. I did this project to let people know about axolotls so we can help them. Hi, I'm Sam. Hi, I'm Hannah. We are going to see what liquids can make a gummy bear grow. So we did baby oil, white vinegar, vegetable oil, and water, and we left them in there for an hour. After an hour, we pulled them out and, the, and we measured them. The baby oil and the vegetable oil made the gummy bears hard 
and the white vinegar in the water made the gummy bears like a jello. They started off 21 millimeters and then they ended in 25 millimeter millimeters. millimeters. I'm Brooklyn McCready. I'm Melanie Watson. And our project is Grow, Grow, Grow. For our project, we decided to do what liquid can make a spider plant grow the fastest. Our liquids are water, Powerade, spray, and Arizona tea. This project took six weeks to do because we had to measure and water our plants. After the six weeks, my liquid that made my plant grow the tallest was Arizona tea. And mine was water. So there is no final answer because we both had different results. What liquid do you recommend to grow plants with? My name is Casper and this is my poster board. My poster board will discuss about what games are good and bad for small children. This is entirely my opinion. On the good games, I put Minecraft, Roblox, Tetris, Skylanders, and Prodigy. On the bad games, I put GTA, Call of Duty, Borderlands, Mortal Kombat, and Dying Light. And these games are bad because, for one, GTA has uh, drugs, gun, guns, curse words, and violence. Hi, my name is Nicholas Shawcross. Hi, my name is Jordan Keyes. Our project is named Which Water is Cleaner? In our project, we tested waters to see which one was the cleanest. The waters were Fiji, Core, Burger King, McDonald's, and Tap. In, conclu in conclusion, Fiji came in first. My hypothesis was right. Core came in second. My hypothesis was wrong. Third was McDonald's, fourth was Tap, and Burger King was last. Hello, my name is Drake Mushwick. I worked on this project with my friend Hayden Sharif. The name of our project is Explosions. It's about elephant toothpaste. The three different kinds of soaps that we used was Ajax, Joy, Dawn, and Game. Our hypothesis was that we thought Dawn would be the best result, but our hypo hypothesis was wrong and Game was the best and Ajax was the worst. <laughs> My name is Luca, and the name of this project is Textures Under a Microscope. In this experiment, we used a microscope, pollen, bean leaf, hydro leaf, paper, apple, and onion bulb. We think the apple will look like a rough texture with red and green color. We think the paper will look like a soft texture with white color. We think the onion bulb will look like brown and white with a thick, rough texture. We think the, that the hydro leaf will look like dark green with a thin texture. We think the, that the bean leaf will look like a soft texture with light green. At last, we think the pollen will look yellow with a soft texture. We were correct on pollen and hydro leaf. We were incorrect on bean leaf, apple, onion bulb, and paper. Um, hi, my name is Livia, and my experiment is a sweet tooth egg experiment. I put eggs into sugary liquids. The sugary liquids I used was apple juice, coke, water, and Gatorade. I checked up on the eggs after 2 hours, 12 hours, and 24 hours. 
I wanted to do this because I would like to see what would happen to the eggs after it would be left at the sugary liquid for a long period of time. I used eggs um, instead of teeth because um, the eggs have similar is similar to teeth, and I and so my hypothesis was. I thought that the apple juice would affect the eggs the most, and my, hypo and my hypothesis was correct. And that was my experiment. Hello, I'm Amia Anna, and I'm doing, I'm, I'm doing research on sharks. Did you know that sharks have to keep moving, so so they will stay alive and sharks are millions of years old and and all sharks have at least three rows of teeth hello my name is Jerrica Lewis and for my project I did soil versus wood ash to see if the spider plants that I used, I used two of them to see if it would grow faster. And for the one with wood ash, it grew faster, as you can see, number one. And then number two, with just soil, it grew a little bit slower. And for my hypothesis, I can't say that, I'm sorry. Um, number one grew faster. Hi, my name's Tyler and I'm doing car crashes. And did you know there's 135 million car crashes a day? And I got some posters, I got some cars right here. Introduce that. And I got this little spirit. <laughs> I'm going to go. I'm going to show you how to grow eggshells on Brio. So first, you want to grow inside your eggshell and make sure all your yolk is out. Then you want to crack your egg open, and you want to put your glue inside of it, and then you want to put your owl powder in it, and it want to stay all night. Then you want to take your half a cup of hot water and put it in there, and what put 1.9 ounces of owl powder, and then you put in it. You put 30 drops of any choice you like. Then you want to sit it there all night, and then you want to sit it, you want to put it on the napkin, and then boom, there's your project. So this is before you add the food coloring. This is one day, this is two days, and this is um, your result. And then this is the real juice. My conclusion is my eggshells are beautiful real creatures. My results yet are be made to be still born with. Tanya Smith and my project is about the long-lasting spider plants. I am going to tell you about spider plants and what I did like different liquid I use I use and what happened to my spider plants and my hypothesis is the liquid I use pop water tea and apple juice and the spider plants with the pop tea and apple juice and it made the tea spider plants died with those liquids and my hypothesis was right the water was going to help the spider plants with the water and the pop tea and apple juice made, made the spider plant died and that was right my hypothesis and the spider plant with the tea smelled very, very much like like stink so so bad. I show you an example. I use water, 
pop, tea, and apple juice. And I use water pop, tea, and apple juice. I use soy water, plants, apple juice, pop, tea, and cup spoon. And my hot pockets was right because the water was going to win because it was going to help the soil and the pop, tea, and apple juice was going to make the spider plant die. My name is Genevieve and my project is about red pandas. I made the background look like their habitat. One of the main predators is a snow leopard. They are almost extinct and there is only about 2,500 left. 95% of what they eat is bamboo. They can live up to 23 years. They mainly live in the Eastern Himalayans. They live in the forest. They are about the size of a domesticated cat and I did my my project because my brother is obsessed with red pandas. Why some living things have spots? Introduction and purpose. We are seeing why pets have spots on them. We want to know if they have a purpose or no purpose. The reason we want to do this is because we want to see if the spots on pets affect them or help them with anything. Information. The Dalmatian's coat pattern is the most distinctive of all breeds and is found in no other breed of dog. Dalmatian spots result of, from the interaction of genes at several different locations called the loci, which is in genetic speak, is a fixed spot on a chromosome where a genetic maker is located. First, the dog must have the gen genetics for a white coat known as the whiting spotting locus, or the yes, S gene. This specific dog breed is not born with spots. They develop over time, usually after 18 months of birth. Not all leopard geckos have spots. Each morph is different. Reptile Advisor has a great post about different variations. However, the yellow body with black spots is the norm and most common in the wild. The spots and bumpy skin helps the leopard gecko to camouflage, making it harder to spot by predators. When your leopard gecko is a baby, it will shed its skin around twice per month, and with each shed, their spots pattern will develop. Many geckos lick eyelids, but the leopard geckos are not only translucent, but they are movable, which allows them to blink and close their eyes while sleeping. Abs conclusion. In conclusion, we found out that the reason Dalmatians have spots is the genetics in their body, and geckos have spots because they're genetics in their body as well. So that's how we found out about if the spots were important for them and if the spots helped them with anything that goes wrong with them. Abstract. This is how we found out about if the spots were important or if they meant something important. So we want everyone to know about spots on animals' bodies to see if they're important to animals with spots on them. Nearly all geckos have a voice. Leopard geckos have a small bark that use, they use if agitated but are not as vocal as other gecko species. The, the Dalmatian breed is very old. They were found on ancient Egyptian tombs. My name is Rodney. My name is Ruckus. My name is Paxton. And the title of our post report is Best Hydration. We're doing Prime Gatorade Body Armor. The reason we are doing this research is to find out what drink has the best hydration because we are all athletes. 
And to our conclusion, uh, body armor is the best for the hydration and the like perfect amount of salt. Hello, my name is Mia Long, and this is my, and Callie Page is my partner. Today we are going to show you what happens when you add water to powders. We will be using tap water and water and baking soda, water and flour, water and yeast, and water and cornstarch. We think this will be really fun. If you want to see our experiment up close, come to the open house this week. We found out from TikTok that water and cornstarch make something called oobleck. Oobleck is basically something that looks like li like a liquid, but is a solid. We thought this was going to be going to be the best experiment to do because it sounded cool. They were all messy but fun. They were all pretty much stink stinky. They were. Hi, my name is Hunter Powell and my project is What is Ublek? Ublek is a non-Newtonian fluid that if, to where if you punch it, it stiffens up and it, it turns into a solid. But if you go easy on it, like, it's a liquid. And um, actually, the actual name of this comes from the um, 1949's book, um, Bartholomew and the Ublek from Dr. Seuss. <laughs> my, hypo my hypothesis is I thought I thought it was just a fake. I thought it was a f I thought it was fake. I thought it was a fraud. I thought I didn't think it was actually going to work. But then when I um, put um, cornstarch and water into it, yeah, now it's a solid, now it's, yeah, and, um, here's some fun facts, you, if you put it into a pool, you can actually run right across the pool, and some militaries use it to, like, armor their, like, trucks and stuff, so that way if there's an explosion, it doesn't, like, do much, like, that bad, like, if, I don't know. And um, another one. Oh, uh, you can fill potholes with it, and cars can drive right over it. Honda, the Honda Motor, the Honda Motor Company received a patient in 2011 for using it in glove boxes and ashtrays so they don't have to open it f fat so that way they don't open fast when a crash is happening you can you can make this liquid with anything it's like let's say cornstarch water clay and water titanium dioxide and water, and silica water, and water. Okay, Hunter, thank you very much. Right. Thanks, it's perfect. Go ahead and change cars, pull those numbers there, guys. You did. I'm Margaret Carter uh, from sixth grade, and my project is about chocolate. Um, my question was um, if the brand and type of chocolate affected how fast it took for um, the chocolate to melt in the microwave. My hypothesis that neither would affect it. My hypothesis was wrong. Um, the milk chocolate and the white chocolate were at different speeds, but the brand did not affect the chocolate type of chocolate how fast it melt.
I'm Elena. I'm Maisie. What I learned is there are three different types of volcanoes, cinder cones, composite volcanoes, and shield volcanoes. We did volcanoes because they are cool to learn about and we just thought it would be a good project to present together. We picked volcanoes because we thought they were interesting and we had a lot of fun doing this project together. Hi, I'm Aubrey. And I'm Mariah. We did our project on what water will grow spider plants the best. So over a period of three weeks, we used four different types of bottled waters and city water. We used Fiji Purified, Deer Park, and Smart Water in city. We both labeled the plants and watered once a week. We kept track of growth with a roller. And after three weeks, we came up with the conclusion that the plant that used Fiji water grew the most. <laughs> My hypothesis is that the Deer Park water was going to grow the plants the best because it is fresh and it is off the mountains. Aubrey's hypothesis is that the Fiji water was going to grow the plants the best because it contains good minerals. The introduction is the main goal is to see which water we got for the project will grow the spider bee, bee plants the best. While we are doing that, we are also trying to keep them all healthy. So. For the hypothesis, um, Fiji water did grow the best. It grew the tallest and the best. Um, the yeah, Fiji. We had Fiji water and Smart water and all of that waters, but in total, Fiji water won. Yeah, Fiji water won. project was done by Akesla Krafa and Destiny Dennis. We did research on bubblegum facts and a cool fact about bubblegum is that it is one of the best ways to focus. My drinking water would be the purest and the least pure would be volcanic. For this project, I made a distillery out of a pressure cooker, steel tubing, and a five gallon bucket. This distillery allowed me to measure the rate of returned distilled water. One out of two of my hypotheses were correct. Volcanic was the least pure, however, Fuji artisan water was the purest. Hi, my name is Connor Spies and I'm, going, I'm doing Who is Better, Cats or Dogs? Which one do you think is better, cats or dogs? I like dogs better because they are fluffy, big, and act like kids. This is our project, it's called Prime vs. Gatorade. We were trying to figure out which is better for you. We measured out the sugar to see which is the best. Prime has two grams of sugar and Gatorade has 69 grams of sugar. Prime has 20 calories and Gatorade has 80 calories. So overall, Prime is better for you. My name is Davion Browning. My project is about volcanoes, and some interesting things about it is volcanoes, uh, they help cool off the earth, removing heat from its interior, and uh, volcanoes make islands and add to the continents.
that I gave my dog uh, um, two types of dog treats, um, and it's bacon and beef. And my dog's name is Tyson. How many times did you have to try your different treats for him? Two times. He chose beef over bacon. Hi, my name is Aaliyah, and I worked with sorry, Isabella. We did an experiment on flowers to see how the dye affected white flowers and dye them different colors. Yes, the flower died after a few days, but the dye colored the flower. And did you know xylem and phloem brings water to a flower? When we put the water in the dye, we um, cut an X into the stem so it would be able to get the water <laughs> soaked up easier. <laughs> And then for one of them, we cut like f I think three mm -hmm. of the stems in half, mm. so it would dye like three different colors, like this one. Basically, the water goes up into a flower and dyes the tips of the petals. We proved ourselves right with our hypothesis. I'm Clifford. We and glow I'm crystals. And I'm Faith, and we both helped with the project. We thought that it was going to grow big crystals, but they grew kind of small ones, but it was a good project. We had to use hot boiling water, and we had to um, put our sticks in them. We saw it would be grow big and it was small. Then we just lose that thing you make crystals. And we use glue powders, and we just let it dry. And we let them sit on the window sill, yeah. and they started growing. Each day, we um checked and wrote the things down what we th um what we thought until the end of the week. Yep. And then then we poured out the water and let them start to dry. The first one is blue. This one is purple. That one is a mixture of purple and green. And the next one is purple, and the next one is a little bit pinkish purple. Hello, my name is Jocelyn, and my project is called Will It Grow? What I did in my project was growing lavender, parsley, and basil. I thought basil would grow the, mo the most, but I was wrong in the end. It turns out that parsley grew the most. Lavender didn't grow at all, but basil grew a tiny bit. Parsley grew super long in the end. I'm Josie Rommel, and this is my solar-powered Autobot. He has solar-powered, flashlight-powered, and battery-powered. His tires spin, he moves forward and backwards. Me and my dad made him. We were going to make a different robot, but we made him instead. It took us four days to build him, but it was worth it and pretty fun. I love him, and you should too. Hi, my name is Dean, and I'm doing research on Roberto Clemente, and I learned a lot of stuff about him, like he had three kids, or he started playing baseball in 1955, and his number is 21, and that he had 250 home runs. But I mostly did it because of my family, because they like Roberto Clemente, and I wanted to know more about him.
My name is Riker McGonagall, and my experiment is, does color affect taste? My hypothesis is, does color affect taste? And my, I got 14 volunteers, 12 kids, 2 adults. I got 4 cups. Cup A was apple juice with red food dye. Cup B was apple juice with green food dye. Cup C was apple juice with blue food dye. And cup C was, cup D was just apple juice. And my data shows that cup A was the favorite, scoring 48 points. And cup B was the second favorite, scoring 34 points. Cup C was the third favorite, scoring 31 points. And cup C, cup D was the least favorite, scoring 27 points. Hi, my name is Mariah Gillum, and I did this project with Annabelle Johnson. I will discuss the process and the results. We put one apple in an airtight container in a well-lit room. We put the next apple in a dark room, and the last apple in a medium-lit room, not in a container. We started this project January 6th and ended it February 18th. The results were the one that molded the most was the one that was in the medium-lit room not in a container. The one that molded a little bit was the one that was in a well-lit room in a container. The one that molded the least was the one that was in the dark room. Our favorite part of the project was watching the apples mold one by one. Hi, my name is Liberty. And my name is Taylor. Our project is crystals. We chose to do crystals because we were both interested in the formation of crystals. We both did crystals because we thought it was a good idea and we both like crystals. How did you guys grow? We, we used boiling hot water and then we used the stuff that um, it was this weird like powder and then we put color in it and it, it made the color of the crystal. <laughs>
science crystal kit. Um, the sugar one is easy to make. All you need is hot water, sugar, and popsicle sticks and food coloring. The kit was pretty easy. All you have to do is add a little bit of hot water, put the seed in, and the crystal shards. Wait for about three weeks, and then about it should be hours. done. A salt one is done by using a popsicle stick, table salt, and a jar with water in it, and it should take up to a week or something. And the most, the easiest one to make was probably this. The sugar one, because it only takes 48 hours. I think the salt one was the easiest, because we didn't have to use a skewer. It was probably the best thing we have ever done in our lives. My name is Temperance Stahl, and I researched about the moon with my partner, Emily Puhack. We seen how the phases of the moon work, and what the calendar was, and the lunar eclipse with the blood moon. The lunar eclipse is, happens when the moon phases through the Earth's shadow. The blood moon is what they call the moon's rusty color when it goes through a total lunar eclipse. We also found the development. The moon was, the moon had a uh, volcanic eruptions for a while until it stopped one 12 billion years ago. The lunar surface has been shaped by events over the years in the gravitational capture of a preformed moon. The characteristics of the moon is that the fifth largest satellite of the solar system. The moon is smaller than Mercury Mercury and larger than the largest dwarf planet, Pluto. As you can see, this is the lunar eclipse, and that's how it happens. This is also how the lunar eclipse happens. My name is Landon Hughes. My experiment is a lemon battery. Using a copper penny and zinc plated nail and lemons, we can generate electricity. The more lemons we use, the higher the voltage will be. A circuit can be made with copper wire. My name is Kelby Park, and this is my project about what lives in caves. Trigolobites. They are a type of organism that lives in caves and in the lakes of caves, or as you can see, streams. Um, one right here, which is a snail, is almost extinct. Right here is a little fish that is blind. The reason why they are blind is because they don't really need anything, no eyes to see. And over here we got a spider. Um, I can see there are triglozins. Um, these type of cave dwellers cannot survive in caves, or like like they can only visit or stay in a cave. Right here, as it says, these type of animals can only use caves for nest, hibernation, roosting, and maternal post. Okay, down on to Miss oh, Triglophins, we have a. Um, Type of crawdad that looks like a lobster. Um, Triglyphons live in live all or parts of the cave in a cave. They live in a cave. Triglyphons can only can survive outside the cave if the condition outside are favorable to them. This means that they can that that the triglyphs have not have to complete adapt to the living in a cave. Um, so that means they have like some pigment, but not all the pigment. See, they're saying it's favorable to them. So if it's like a hot day on summer and they come out, they can like burn to a crisp because not enough pigment. And that concludes my um, poster board here in a what? My name is Nolan Ludwig. My name is Ella Ludwig. And I'm Ava Watkins. 
Our science project is about which sports drink has the most electrolyte. We tested body armor, Gatorade Prime, Propel, Gatorade Powerade, and water. Gatorade was first, Powerade was second, body armor was third, Prime was fourth, Gatorade was fifth, and Propel was sixth. We tested the electrolytes with a digital multimeter. We used a connector to the digital multimeter and we put it in the drink that we tested and the graph represents the results. The digital multimeter tests the level of electrons in the drink which correlates with the electrolytes and we measured it in ohms. We tested, the, we did this science fair project because we wanted to find out which sports drink has the most electrolytes. My name is Cannon Gilly, and how much, my title is How Much Bacteria Is In Our Water. For, for this experiment, I did one drop of water from Fiji, bottle of water, distilled water, toilet water, tap water, and faucet water. And then I got agar agar, I put five drops where I can get to the halfway broom. And then I let it sit there for five days and my hypothesis was I think toilet water was gonna have the most and that Fiji water was gonna have the less. And I was wrong. Uh, toilet water has the most bacteria by 70% and uh, Fiji wa water had 10% of bacteria. The rest of the waters had zero bacteria. And I would, it, over time, over time it got moldy, moldy, moldier and then I, and you got instantly shut the uh, the cap, so you can make sure that no uh, like it don't get get up in your air or like dust gets in in there. So you close the cap, you let it sit there for five days, and I got toilet water had the most of uh, filled uh, displayed water had none. Fiji had a little bit. Tap water had none, and fountain water had none. And that's my experiment. My name is Maya Brooks. My name is Alicia Correa. And, and we, we did, did research, research on zebras. zebras. One thing that we learned was that zebras have 360 peripheral vision to keep a lookout for any predators. And sometimes male zebras will battle each other to secure a mate. You can find zebras in Africa. <laughs> <laughs> there, uh, there are even golden zebras, but they aren't actually golden. They, they're just albino, so it makes the black look a little bit brownish, and it mixes with the white, making it look golden. Hi, my name is Mariana, and my project is called Nailed It or Failed It. My project is about taking away each ingredient to see how they react. This cookie has no egg, baking soda, salt, butter, sugar, and flour. Remember to use all your ingredients. Hi, my name is Ashton and my project is Elephant Toothpaste. It is very cool. When it explodes, it made a mess, but it was very short and depressing. I put dry yeast, vinegar, baking soda, 3% hydric, hydric peroxide food. <laughs> Hi, I'm Cameron Conley. Hi, I'm Marcella Surratt. I'm Gracie Murray. I'm Riley Hanley. Our project is called Dangerous Gummies. Around the world, people are giving out gummies with drugs in them to kids. Do you think people know the difference between a sugar gummy, vitamin gummy, and a CBD gummy by just looking at them? We put one of each gummy bear into three separate jars. Before testing, we thought that people would not be able to tell the difference between the three gummies. After testing 103 people, only 21 were able to guess them right, and they admitted to guessing while being surveyed. We tested a variety of age groups and found that the ages 61 plus got them all correct, and the age groups 41 to 60 got them least correct. In conclusion, that all of the gummies were very similar in looks, and people were, um, it was hard to tell the difference. 
That's why you should be cautious of the gummies you take and give. Our project is called Dangerous Gummies. Hi, I'm Kaden. I'm Connor. <laughs> I'm Neveo. Uh, the name of the project is Making Water Glow. Uh, we have decided to make the water glow by three at-home supplies, by with highlighters, water, black light. We had to bust open the back of the highlighter and let it soak. For about five minutes, for a better process, use the heat of bottle of water. This experiment is easy and fun. It only takes about five minutes until you can see the beautiful aftermath. And then this is it glowing. In the dark it glows better, but it glows a bright neon color. Okay. I'm Elena. I'm Maisie. What I learned is there are three different types of volcanoes, cinder cones, composite volcanoes, and shield volcanoes. We did volcanoes because they are cool to learn about and we just thought it would be a good project to present together. We picked volcanoes because we thought they were interesting and we had a lot of fun doing this project together. My name's Natalie Wyand, and my project is a rubber band car. I had to use two T's and two nine and a half inch PVC, one 20 inch PVC, two one and a half inch PVC, one seven inch dial, three two inch dial, rubber bands, popped can, pop caps, two small wheels, two big wheels, hot glue, saw, three, one and a half, well, a half inch PVC, and 90% elbow, one screw. It went backwards instead of forward whenever we tested it. Hi, my name is Amani, and my project's name is Magnet Facts. I did my project on magnets. Magnets we use in everyday life, like in phones and TVs, there are a lot of different magnets. The Earth is the largest magnet. Magnets attract and repel. Attract means they stick together. Repel means they don't. I learned a lot about doing this project. Greg, you want to show us how those magnets work? So, so this is what it's supposed to do. So um, the magnet, well, um, is trying to figure which way. Hi, my name is Amani, and my project's name is Magnet Facts. I did my project on magnets. Magnets we use in everyday life, like in phones and TVs, there are a lot of different magnets.
The Earth is the largest magnet. Magnets attract and repel. Attract means they stick together. Repel means they don't. I learned a lot about doing this project. Hi, my name is Mariana, and my project is called Nailed It or Failed It. My project is about taking away each ingredient to see how they react. This cookie has no egg, baking soda, salt, butter, sugar, and flour. Remember to use all your ingredients. Hi, my name is Ashton, and my project is Elephant Toothpaste. It is very cool when it explodes. It made a mess, but it was very short and depressing. I put dry yeast, vinegar, baking soda, 3% hydrate peroxide food coloring, and... Hi, my name is Hunter Atkins, and today we're doing Coke and Mentos, and we have two different types of Mentos, and we're going to see which one goes higher up in the air. Hi, my name is Connor, and like Hunter said, we are doing Coke and Mentos. <laughs> My name is Dallas Cool. This is Brody Reed. My name is RJ Lewis. This is Jaden Barnhouse. And our project is Will It Survive? And where we added materials to different plants to see how fast it would grow and see which one grew the fastest. For the project, we all did a part. I did. I did some. He did some. He did some. He did some. We we seen which substance or liquid would kill the spider plants. As you can see, none of them survived, but the materials, we had aspirin, eggshells, water, and sugar water. And for the variable, not the variables, but our hypothesis was that the one with the most sugar would be the one that made the spider plants wilt the most, which we were kind of wrong on that. Which one was the worst? The worst was the water. Hi, my name is Emma, and we did a project on zodiac signs. Hi, my name is Faith, and we work together to research and write them down on the computer to figure out which to um, write. Um, we did, a, like, we put them in separates so we know which one, which element they are. There mm -hmm. is four categories, and there's fire, earth, water, and air. Um, Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius are in fire, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn are in Earth, Water is Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces, In Air it's Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra, and those are the categories of each of the zodiac signs. So we didn't have enough we couldn't get the rest of these two down because we didn't, it didn't print, so I was able to get And these done. are the signs of them on the sides.
Hi, I'm Sydney, and I did my my project on Great Danes because I have a Great Dane, and I really think that Great Danes are interesting, so I did my science project on Great Danes. This is a picture of me and my Great Dane, and then these are some pictures of female Great Danes, these are some male Great Danes, and then these are some things about why Great Danes are happy and nice, why they're protective to their family, why they're good family pets, and they're... Project. Hi, my name is Serenity and I'm doing a project, my project on baby development on their brains until they're in preschool. I brought this cantaloupe because it's the size of the human's brain and I got the ages from two to four and the human size brain over here. And the, there's two pictures. The brain's right here, and there is a picture right there. And there is research on it on my phone. And I, my mom figured I can do baby development on their brains until they are adult. And we worked together. Go ahead. Hi, my name is Kendall. Hi, my name is Melee. Hi, my name is Jasmine. And we're, we're going to be talking about, about which candle burns, burns the fastest. We are doing a candle experiment on unscented, scented, and colored candles. The minerals that we used are candles, lighters, timers, bowls, toothpicks, and markers. The information, depending on what candle is made with, will determine the speed that will burn speed of burning candles also depend on the type of wick used to make a candle. After burning all candles together for an hour, we found out that the color candle burned the faster than unscented and scented the scented candles and the unscented candles burn the same. My hypothesis was right. I guessed that the colored candle was going to burn the fastest. My hypothesis was wrong because I thought the scented was going to burn the fastest. My hypothesis was wrong because I thought it was that I thought that the scented candle was going to burn the fastest. Cool. Wait, I'm not done. What's that? I'm not done. You're not done? No. Nope. Oh, well, let's go. Let's do some more. Okay. Did you know that a candle flame does not always fl stand straight under micro stand straight? under microgravity like on a space station some nasa scientists have revealed that a flame would be spherical spherical this phenomenon is due to the look lack of gravity good for good we're good now wow. now we can oh, stop so it does what Uh, the name of my project is Picky Picky Bean. Bean is a mini golden doodle. Her breed of dog is said to be one of the pickiest breeds of dog. So um, my my ex my experience. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. You know, restart. Yeah, restart. My name is Karma. My name is Gabby. <laughs> and we did um, research about, about Australian Shepherds and, and Blue Healers. Blue healers. <laughs> what are some things you guys learned about your the different dogs? Australian Shepherds can stay with you and protect you at all times. And Blue Healers can um, um, need to be trained a lot.
I'm feeling shepherds need to be outside more so they can get more energy out instead of being inside all day. And blue healers can be, um, they, they, once they're in the battle, they stay in the battle. Thank you ladies very much. Okay, we're gonna close cards here, guys. Fantastic.